you have a nice day. You too, Bye. I thought we could spend today getting out of a rut together. As you can see by my background, that is how I feel internally and how everything looks externally. We've been away at the weekend. I've been feeling a bit anxious and icky and I also just need a little mental and physical declutter. So I thought we could do that today. I thought we could have a little glow. I thought we could tan, wash our hair, whiten our teeth. I thought we could tidy all around, go on a nice walk, go to a workout class, um, try and eat some nice nutritious food and basically just try and make ourselves feel better, do some to-do list, do a bit of journaling, do a little bit of reading, just all the things that are good for the soul and mind. Um, I have been editing this morning, it's took me so much longer than I expected, it's nearly 10 o'clock um, but I've been up since about 6 so I'm glad I got up early I'm now going to take my ginger and turmeric shot, I'm going to make a coffee and I'm going to jump in the shower and wash my hair because my hair is icky so we've got, our washing machine is still broke if you follow the weekly vlogs so please just ignore the absolute state of if there's washing everywhere basically. Um, so let's get in the shots. We've got the morning essentials along with Brazil nuts. Okay, so I usually get a different one but because I was in Somerset I picked this one up. Um, because that's all I could find so usually I have ginger and turmeric shot and like the moji one which is a bit better because it has like the shots on the um, side where I was going to kind of have to guess with this that's why I thought the bottom indicator could be good does that look like a one fifth is that a lot that'll do um, and then so we've got this for just inflammation and it's good for immunity I've got two Brazil nuts for selenium I've got my yakult for my gut health and then I've got a coffee for my <laughs> happiness but I also need to get some sea moss because that's really good for vitamin intake so cheers let's shop this three two one Much better. Two Brazil nuts. I love Brazil nuts.
there guys. So at the end of my showers, I try and do a cold burst every day. Um, today I'll be having two showers, but I'm gonna try and do it in both. And I just put it on the coldest set, set, coldest setting and try and breathe through the panic of the cold water. Just try it. It's meant to be incredible for so many things. It's best your cold water therapy. It is so cold and you want to get out, but just try and breathe through it. And my main reason of doing it is through anxiety. So basically, like where the panic comes when you turn it cold, you um, have the same panic, like when you're in anxiety, like your body goes into fight or flight. And like, trying to breathe through that essentially helps you breathe through your anxiety. Um, so you ready for a cold water plunge? I'm scared. Usually I would not record this, but as soon as we're getting ourselves out of a rut, we're on our self-development game today. So are you ready? I usually face this way, but she like jumping to face this way. So I usually do a few deep breaths. half minutes but staying in it for that two and a half minutes is like torture so i'm trying to work myself back up to that resilience because that was when it was warm outside it's not so warm now okay let's go and get ready for the day I just shoved my hair in this clip because it's doing my head in but it looks so nice it looks so soft i'm honestly obsessed with that glazy plex incredible so good but i look a bit crazy but we're only messing around right now so i've just got a comfy outfit on okay i'm gonna eat because it's 20 to 12 i haven't eaten yet and i kind of want to get it out of the way so then it can stay tidy um so i'm literally just gonna have i love just basic girl dinner sort of vibe so let me move you back what okay what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put this back in the fridge is that shut properly i'm just about to upload my youtube video because it's got a sponsor in it and that's what i've been doing this morning so we're gonna have let's move this mug Fridge riders and a little pepperoni mini. We're going to have cucumber, tomato, a bit of spinach, a little bit of beetroot, an orange, and I think that is it for now. 
my washing is drying everywhere in the house like i said so i'm sorry about the mess okay so once we've done that we're gonna start tidying i've got like packages everywhere i need to like just organize my life but we need to say most importantly what we're grateful for so what i am grateful for this morning i am grateful for you guys always i love you guys more than literally anything my pasta stained my chopping board orange it is clean <laughs> um so i'm grateful for you guys always every single day i'm grateful for every single one of you that watch me like comment message me anything the clip is giving me the ick a bit actually now um so grateful for you guys look, look how great because my hair's just too, it's got so thick i don't know how it's got so thick like you know sometimes when and i am grateful for it but like you know when your hair's like just down and it's just not sleek but i think it's because i've just got so much of it um anyway the spinach is on its way out it's a bit wilted in places so i'll probably use it in tonight's dinner i'm just gonna have a little bit to add a bit of greens you know um but I'm grateful for my health, always number one. Grateful for being here, grateful for another day of living, of being healthy, of being happy, of having family, of having my dream job, of having so many opportunities that come my way. You guys, I'm grateful for my relationship, I'm grateful for my best friend, I'm grateful for my dogs, I'm grateful for my body being you know, able to move. Honestly, I just, I am so grateful and I feel like I say what I'm grateful for a lot anyway, but I think when you're not feeling good, it's so important to be extra grateful, to realise that like this is just a temporary feeling and you've got so much good around you. It's okay to feel rubbish and down and it's okay for things to go on, but it is temporary. Everything in life is temporary, whether sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. But I just want you to really say that like if ever it doesn't come across like I'm grateful or because I have like I feel like I hope it goes without saying that I'm grateful for you guys, but I had a comment the other day and was like, you should say you're grateful for your viewers. And I mean, I do feel like I say that, but if I don't say it enough or show it enough, I just wanted to say, I hope that's not right. And um, I don't know whether that was just a miscommunication from a viewer, I don't know. But it was an old video and I feel like I've got a lot more confident. I feel like the longer I do this, the more confident, the more like more I show not that I've never not been myself but every day and every month and every week I'm turning into more of myself like I'm becoming more me and like trying to self-develop and things like that so I feel like I'm a lot more like I don't know I don't know what the right words are to say but I hope you know what I mean and I hope you guys never think that I would take you for granted like I haven't really been posted in the last few days and the messages and like things that you guys miss me and things that like, honestly makes me want to cry like I wish we could I mean we can all be best friends but I wish I could just meet every single one of you who support me and just give you literally a kiss and a cuddle I really do like I love you guys so much and I feel like I have so many I feel so loved and um, when you guys comment and things like that and if, it, if ever I don't get back to you or whatever like please know that's never anything personal I'm just having a little mini pep as well so yeah, I just wanted to start the, I say start the video, I don't even know how long it is, but like just say that because nothing makes me more happier than this job, you guys, and the opportunities that come with it, it is honestly my dream. Um, so yeah, I am honestly just going to sort my life out, it needs to happen. So I'm just having a real basic lunch dinner. I have my orange after. Also, I'm obsessed. When I was driving home from some sit yesterday, I ate half this box of candy floss grapes. They were so good. So, so nice. So, I'm going to have some water and then we'll clean. <laughs>
trying to clean the sofa and give it a deep clean. This is the side I've done and this is, can you see all the marks on it? This is this side, so I do think it's working. I've made like a little concoction of, um, it's upholstery and vanish. Um, upholstery, vanish, bit of softener, um, a little bit of the floor wrap, boiling water, and that's it. So I'm just trying to get all the marks out of the sofa. And I actually think it's really working. It looks so much better than it did already. I'd still like it professionally cleaned and I feel like I want to get, you know them things that like suck the dirt out. I mean, I don't know if I can ever get it brand new, but I'm going to give it a good go because I just find obviously like material sofas, like I prefer so much more than leather, but it's like, it gets so much dirtier and like because of the dogs are still boys and they have their bits and bobs like they get like little bits of like just you know what come out of their like you know what <laughs> and it's just a bit icky so i've done this before but i've never made like a concoction it's actually getting it out so i'm so excited to see that it's actually coming out and like i might not be embarrassed of the sofa because i don't mind just doing this once a week um, and like keeping the sofa on show because I've always like wanted to cover it for the last X, Y, Z because it's just looked gross because of the dogs. But I actually think, I mean, it still looks a bit discoloured, but I think we're getting somewhere, which is the main thing. But I just wanted to, in case anyone else, because I was just literally clueless on what to do like I've bought a upholstery thing but that on its own just didn't seem to have the power to like shift it um but yeah so I'm gonna see what I can get done I'm also using the scrubbing brush from the upholstery remover on the marks to try and whoa really get in there I keep spinning One. This side doesn't seem like it's cleaning as well. I think it's because this is the side Rory especially likes to sit. This is boiling water. It's so hot. I've put a bit cold in, but it's burning my hand so bad. But I just can't be bothered to wait for it to. I'm just washing all the excess like soap off out of the fibres. Whether it cannot be cleaned, I do need professional, I don't know. I'm gonna like hoover it to dry it and see what it looks like. Here's a close up. It just still doesn't look brilliant. I mean, granted it's still a little wet, but it just doesn't look good. I don't know if to go over it with like a suede like brush. Do you know what I mean? Because it is like a suede thing. Like I've got one for my Uggs, whether that would help. But this is the vibe, I'm unsure. I think I need it professionally done. Okay, sorry mate, ignore that absolute state of me. Um, I am gonna change out my wax melts and I've got so many from, I've got a few Ella J melts. And this is in cashmere sweater. So I'm gonna turn it on, leave it on for like, not long and then just so i can slide the wax out and then replace it with one of these i have so many of these um i've got a mash marshmallow and toasted nut latte and i feel like this is like all to me and they're so pretty look at this so i will show you who i actually have got my melts from because we love a small business over here okay i've got a whole basket full of melts. So are they all Ella J melts? Oh, look I've got Snow Angel which I used last year which is like Snow Fairy, Spring Awakening, 
marshmallow and toffee nut latte these are all ella j melts then i've got one from the polar express i'm not sure where it's from but a lovely follower chloe bought it me and then i've got Sensty gingerbread hugs um sweet orange pomin pomander cozy cottage and then Sensty cranberry and tinsel and then we've got a load of tea lights and then we've got orchard sunrise so i have quite a lot of wax melts um and i keep them all in here and i'm gonna hoover through i think take the dogs a little walk maybe I don't know what order to do everything in. I'm mean, thinking take the dogs a walk just so it's done and then they'll chill while I'm upstairs. I think my sleepy spot looks so much. My poor skin. I feel sorry for it. I'd like to go to Zumba tonight to be honest with you, but I know I know what you want, but I am busy. I'm sorry it's taking so long, darling. And you, I'm sorry. I know you want to go out. I'll take you as soon as I can. <laughs> They're such monkeys. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Do you want to go out? Can mommy just hoover and then we go out? Is that okay? Huh? Love you both so much. I wonder how long it will take for it to just... You know, just slip out, slip all out. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I don't know where my phone is, but I know raw. I don't know. I just want to get downstairs done, and then I can come back and tackle upstairs because it's going to take me so long to do everything. So I'm just going to put these up here. Move the dog water, and then everything is off the floor. And then I can hoover around. I just got the washing in, but I probably could have done with a bit longer, but it's basically just peeled out. So perfect. This one smells so good. That was a sensity one. Um so I'm gonna put in the other one and hoover. the living room and the front room then mop and then if it's not raining walk the doggies if not we go upstairs I am um, just just filled up some petrol. Hang on. And I wasn't gonna, but while I'm over here, I'm gonna get a coffee. 
think I'm gonna go to Costa and get an iced maple hazelnut latte because that's what autumn cozy queens do. Sorry the angle, so I don't have my mat in here, it's in my new car. So let's go and get a Costa Rooney um, and then let's go and walk these doggies because when I just stopped the car, Rory started screaming. He's like, get me out, mum. I wanna go for a walk. Which is obviously not what I'll treatment I wanna give to my little prince. I want him to go. So sorry you're the angle's so rubbish, but I'm literally round the corner from Costa. So give me two seconds and we'll order a coffee and then we'll go for a walk. Full battery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we've got our coffee. I'll quickly show you now. What a lovely angel. She was really sweet. <gasps> Fuck, I've just knocked the lid off. Look at that. Stunning. It's going to get a quick picky of it. Hopefully the car behind me doesn't come. Right. I will see you at the walk. Bye, angels. Okay, I'm back from the walk and I'm sweating. I've just... We hoovered a little bit downstairs because the dog's got some mud on the floor. Um, I am now going to sort the bedroom out first because the dressing room is where like the problem really is. So I'm going to sort out this room. I'm going to replace. I've got some new um, bed ta bedside table lamps. So I'm going to sort that out and put all the stuff in here that needs to be cleaned. I want to change my bed. Really? Don't leak your bits on camera. <laughs> Um, I need to change my bed sheets, but I'm going to fight time tonight, so I am not going to change them. I'll change them tomorrow, which will be in the weekly vlog, not that you probably care, but I'm going to put my phone on charge and I'm going to blast this room. I'm honestly sweating. I'm so happy. I just feel sorry for my freshly washed hair. It is five o'clock. We had a nice hour walk. They're really tired now, so this is what I wanted. I wanted them to just be able to chill because I just knew they wanted to go out, but they've had some fresh air. Um, so let's blitz the room. I, I do, these bed table lamps are okay, but the ones I've bought are literally incredible. Um, so I'm really excited. But my, honestly, oh, the bed is such a state. It's really got, um, it's overdue being changed, to be honest. But there's no point changing it if I'm going to fight tan. There's literally just no point. Um, so I'm going to do the bed. And then I've hoovered up the stairs on my way up and I've shut us all up here. So, yes, let's do this room. And then we can make tea together. I, it's five o'clock. I'll have to leave for Zumba in an hour and I haven't even started. So I'm not going to go to Zumba tonight. Um, but we can spend the rest of the evening together. Because I really want to do some like mindfulness and stuff like that later. Um, so, yeah. I really want to... We're, we're going to redecorate the bedroom ASAP. Um, we're just going to have to strip all the wallpaper and stuff. So once that's done, I'm going to really decorate the room. I low-key don't want to put the bedside table lamps because I feel like... I don't know if to put them in the cupboard and just stick what we've got. So it's like a bigger effect once it's done. I'm not sure what to do. Um, but I'll keep you posted. tables and dust in here but the floor is clear so I'm just going to put the curtains up and that is full let's put the curtains up I'm honestly sweltering let's open the window um need vacuum bags and then 
sort this cable out. Okay. Look at these beautiful dogs. You good boys? <laughs> Whoa! Look at his feet. They're literally black. We're going to have to put you in the bath, I think. I said I wouldn't, but I think I'm going to have to. You've got sockies on. You've got socks on. Socks, socks, socks and crocs. The sweat is dripping off my face. Are you ready to see the other room? I don't think you are. Oh, thanks. Big stretch. Big stretch for a cute boy. I don't even feel like I'll be done tonight. Look at this. And it's in the hall. I think I'm going to sort it into piles, what needs to be hung up, put away, packages one side. Oh, I can't be bothered. I'm going to put packages in one corner, Dan stuff one corner, towels the other corner and do it like that I think. So like anything like products I'm going to chuck up here. So this huge white fox parcel is to be filmed and open so I'm going to put this beep beep beep. Okay. And then we're going to make some piles, okay? So, I don't even know where to start. Let's empty the bags. Oh, sorry, Ru. We've got a book, which is like, I'm, I'm going to put it with towards the beauty stuff. Sunglasses, antibacterial wipes, my suede brush, which I'm going to use for the sofa, and a plug. Okay, this bag is now empty, and this lives over here. Okay. This is rubbish. So we're gonna, I don't even know where my bin is. We could do with empty maybe a Primark bag and using this for rubbish. So in here we've got gym shorts, which need folding, a body serum, so we'll put that with beauty. Um, beauty headband, deodorant headband, some clean sockies, which will go, I'm just gonna put them there for a sec. Mirror put up here with my beauty i could do with some perfume i absolutely stink put that there okay let's put rubbish in here that's gone all in my eye okay rubbish this is content so i'm gonna put that here beauty swimming costume will be folded Dan swimming tr trunks the same place let's get this into the bin pile um okay another bag what have we got in here? We've got Kaya the Label tag, a B&M receipt, and then we've got a train ticket from Birmingham to, I don't know where, whatever. And then we've got a pound. So I'm gonna leave the pound in the bag and put that there. Okay, we're always just sat where I need to go. Fleece, we wanna hang up, so I'm gonna put, this side of the room. Tracksuit, hang up. Jumper, hang up. Mama jacket, beep beep beep. Hang up. Bodysuit, hang up. Charger, I'm gonna put the beauty coat hanger to hang up with. Put them there, beep beep, off. Kylie the label hoodie, I'm pretty sure it's absolutely filthy and needs washing. Another thing to take the laundrette all bleh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I feel like you do not want to listen to this the whole time. I feel like it's a bit boring. Yeah, toys. I can go in there. This needs to go downstairs, so I'm going to put that in with the washing. Um, yeah. Clean. Everything is in piles. Ignore my hair. But if you're new here, you won't know this, but if you're not new here, you'll know that I'm obsessed with colouring. And I wanted to order some markers um because i really want to do like a proper color like proper color time and like have my own little station and i always see them on um on tiktok so i bought this set i'm so excited <gasps> have you ever seen anything more satisfying in your whole life look at that i am so excited so these are basically 
double ended markers slash pens um and i love that you just slice them in there's so many different colors there's like a color chart that it comes with and i'm obsessed um i'm a coloring girly i've got this as if there's more falling down the side and under there i'm so excited and it has all the names and this is just going to elevate my coloring time which i'm so excited about so if you want a link let me know but it's called the i just put in like something color markers or yeah and it come up but if you want the link just pester me and i'll get it to you but i'm going to carry on so we've got stuff to go downstairs returns dan stuff hanging up fold then my desk and stuff mess so i'm going to get on with um this because it's boring and i don't like to do oh, sorry Rob. i don't like to do too too many time lapses um so i'm gonna do this and i will be back but it's i don't know what time it is i hate putting a bobble in my hair for the first day but it's gonna have to be done because my hair's just icky it's getting too sweaty let's continue the tidy up <laughs> i'm gonna cry the floor is clear so i now need to do my toiletries it's getting so dark it's actually seven o'clock and then i'm gonna hoover through dan's bringing a greek home which is the best news i've heard all day um oh my back is really hurting i'm really the floor of tanning makes me want to cry i don't know if to have a bath or a shower um so i'm gonna get this done and then we are nearly at the home run. We're going to whiten our teeth and stuff. So it's probably good that I'm having dinner first. Um, but a lot of our washing is still wet and some of it. So basically last weekend we were cutting down a tree at my mum's. And the we were by the incinerator all weekend. And we honestly smell like a smoker family. And like that is the last thing I ever want. Because I don't smoke and neither does Dan. Um, so yeah. My mum used to smoke and I used to hate it. Um, so, yes. I washed our stuff in the laundrette, but I'm going to take it again and like take more stuff, more some more stronger stuff, because it just needs rewashing. Because, like, it's more done stuff because he was stood over that incinerator for four days, well, three days. So, it's just so strong. Um, and, like, even his hair, like, he's washed it three times and it still smells like it's really stuck. Um, which is not a vibe vibe but the floor is clear as you can see and we're gonna now tidy the
look at this room. That is all content that I need to work with, but the floor is tidy. Just my camera battery charging for you guys, but it looks so much better. Everywhere's cleaned, dusted, and I'm so happy. Um, I've left my fight tan because I need to do that tonight, and then like I just said, this is all content, which is not a vibe. So yes. <laughs> Okay, the extractor fan is on, so ignore that, but I've just got out of the shower. My skin is feeling sore, but I brush my teeth with a soft bristle, bristle tooth, bristle toothbrush from Wisdom. And then to start off, I'm going to do the intense whitening strips. I work with them on TikTok, but this isn't, um, paid, sponsored, whatever. Top, bottom. So I'm just gonna look off. I just like to suck in some of my teeth are dry. These are the wrong ones. If you can ignore, if you can hear Dan shouting, Arsenal Dan. I'm sure any girl or boy with a girlfriend or boyfriend who supports the team know the trouble. Ignore uh, My mouth got wet. There you go. Well, and we're gonna leave this on for 30 minutes. Let's go upstairs and do some skincare and moisturise. It is 20, like you can't do it, but it's 20 past. It's 10 past eight, so half an hour is 22. Let's go upstairs. What is choice. I'll just put a few little drops. And just <laughs> dab in. I've got a lot of spots going on. I'll leave that for a second and put on um, this. I'm also suffering quite bad with my eczema it's under my armpits. So if that, I've got like red patches, that's why. Not a vibe. And then for moisturiser, I do like this one. The 17, this skin oil from Aborium. I'm just going to dab the ice here up in. And I just do like a, just under a pipette. And then I just dab in. I'm going to take my ring off going in a tan. Put a bit of this on the lips. And then um, I'm just going to put some castor oil and some lash serum. This is the Grande Lash Serum. I'm literally out. It's literally dry. I need to purchase some more. And then castor oil, where is it? On the brows and the lashes. I try and do this every day, but to be honest with you, I don't do this every day. And I just coat the brows and lashes in. It just because I have them um, laminated and um, lifted, it just helps to keep the growth and like the moisture in them. Okay, that is my skincare done. I don't have a big skincare routine, and like 
for me the most simple the better i'm trying to work out a bit of products like chemical exfoliation i don't know really how it's working obviously my skin is not looking the best um, I then give my eyelashes a second to dry and I'll just curl them. It just keeps helps keep the lift. And then most evenings I try and remember to do cuticle oil morning and night. But again, I don't do this every morning and night. Just put a drivel on every nail and then I just rub it all into every bit. Just helps the nail. I mean, my nails never break anyway. These are my natural nails. I have biab, but just to keep them nice and strong and healthy and then um i'm gonna grab some moisturizer so i'm gonna use this smooth talk exfoliating body serum by body proud salicylic acid body gel just on my tops of my arms um it's where i get like it's got way better since using this but like almost arm acne i get so i just put it on my forearms and my lower arm <laughs> no that's forearm upper arm bicep whatever um and i've not tried this this came from the post it says after cleansing and before moisturizing and applied to the body as required i mean i don't think i'm going to reply apply every everywhere because i don't think it will last that long but i'm just going to put another i'm just going to put it on top of like my more like you know areas that i want to be smooth maybe tops of my legs obviously i'm not going to show you those because i am naked and then i've been loving the nala's baby one but i'm going to go in with this tonight because i got a new tub and you know i love this and it just sinks in quick and then i put my pajamas i'm going to drink my tea i'm going to do a bit of mindfulness so we'll do that together um i have just well, i did a tiktok so my phone is buzz buzz buzzing um so i'm just gonna put that on do not disturb i think but yes um be back in a bit of yes! arsenal of scored okay small issue my tea is ready but <laughs> i've got my tea for so i'm gonna try and drink it through the floor i don't know if this will hurt them <laughs> So, I thought I'd do a little bit of journaling because I've been feeling cluttered, anxious, all the above. I just, I've been putting off a lot of stuff. I was trying to find my little to-do li to list, but I can't find it. And I bought this a while ago. Let me just move this so I can actually get into bed. We're always eating kibble, so sorry if it's annoying, but... I bought this gratitude journal from Primark. It was only £4 and it has this on. So it has, we'll fill it out together. So, happy moments today. So, if my happy moments today were. I think you took the day. It's October 4th. Okay, so 3, 10. 23. My happy moments for today were waking up, walking the dogs, walking the dogs, um, finishing cleaning, sorry Rory's kid was annoying, and then showering. My morning reflections were worrying, does nothing, but still, today's happiness. My quote of the day. Let's go on Pinterest and just see what quote comes first. There might be one on my homepage, there might not. I 
Okay. Let's put quote of the day. Whatever makes you feel the sun from the inside out, chase that. Let's put that down. Whatever makes you feel raw the sun from the inside out, chase that. I'm grateful for. So the first thing I'm grateful for is my life, my body, every day. Number two, I'm grateful for my dogs. And the third thing I'm grateful for is my job and my supporters. What's bothering me and how to resolve it, I'm going to keep that private. Self-improvement, I think, focus on the now. Stop worrying about the future. Stop worrying about what hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened. Trust the process. Process. Tomorrow I want to. Okay. I've got a few things on my to-do list. Okay, that's my main things. And then it's got, like, how I feel today. Calm, happy, peaceful, relaxed, relieved, sad, angry, tired, stressed, anxious. So I feel a bit tired. I feel a little bit stressed. I feel a little bit anxious. But I also feel happy, relieved, the clean and stuff. I don't really feel relaxed. And then it says evening reflections. My evening reflections are... I'm grateful today's energy. I'm grateful for today's energy. Happy with my clean house. And then I'm going to add some more. So that is what I'm going to finish writing this, but I really recommend a journal. I'm rubbish and I'm going to start leaving it open on my pillow every morning. And then also going to do a bit of journaling, just a little bit goal setting. And um, I also want to do the 369 method, but it's best to start that in the morning. You should do it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon and nine times at night. So I might do a little bit of manifestation or to read through my goals. And then I'm going to write tomorrow's to-do list on my phone. And then I'll be ready to tan and take my strips. 10 minutes until I take my strips off. So we'll do that together. So I'm going to spend 10 minutes journaling. I'd like to do some reading start editing this video and um, but also spend time with Dan when um, the Arsenal's finished that's my current goals right now so Up. I'm going to take my main toothbrush now, um, not my soft one, and like brush my teeth and brush all the gel off. Um, and then 
what I'm going to do is I do like the whitening pen from Wisdom, but I'm going to spice it up and use, where is it, the High Smile Colour Corrector Serum. Um, so I'm just going to get my soft bristle brush from Wisdom and you literally put a pump of it on there, two pumps, and then you're meant to just polish for 30 seconds. So I'll just get it on there. That instantly looks so white. Okay, and this is what they look like straight after. I feel like I can always tell the difference, they look really white. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with my little flosser and just. And then I don't love the taste of the high smile, like after, it's fine when it's on. But after it feels a bit icky, so I'm just going to go a tiny bit with the soft brush or brush, soft brush or whatever. I guess. Hold on, wash. I heavily noticed the difference because look, I've got no tan on. I'm pretty pale, and they still look pretty white. Um, so I would now normally put my retainers in, but one I have left them in the um, in the Midlands in Somerset. And I only have, luckily, I've got my old one and it's just the top tray. So I'm going to put that in tonight uh, just so they don't move too much. But I'm going to have another tea just because I fancy one in a minute. Um, I'm just going to give my tea for a minute. So I'm probably going to read my book or tan now. Um, I don't know which one to do first to be honest with you. Maybe read my book because Daniel's still down here. I'm just going to take my tan off. I'm going to use the filter extra dark and I'm going to mix it with the cocoa cosmetics by Chloe and this one so I'm going to take this upstairs so it's up there but I'm not going to tell you I'm going to read my book hello so it is time to tan and I've decided this is the last night of doing any extortionate skincare. Not like I really do any anyway. I'm going to strip it back to basics again because my skin is just rough. Also, I'm going to try and cut as much sugar and like processed stuff out as I can. Sugar's the hard one because I can like a sweet coffee and stuff, but I'm going to see what I can do. But let's tan. This is the colour of me before the heating's on as well so nice and cozy I'm led by the radiator so that's Dan's video sorry I won't show you everything because you've seen me tan before but I'm just gonna I just put whatever pump amount of pumps I do of one I just do of the other and I get my kabuki brush and I just I really, I almost pussied out and didn't do it, but oh no, I'll feel better tomorrow. The only thing I need to do really is brush my hair. Oh, I've got no mirror. I also put a bit on my ears, just in case I don't bronze it up enough. I also was just saying to Dan I feel a little bit fluey, like I don't feel 100%. Just don't, I don't know, I just feel a bit weird. I do my hands on the second layer. So I'm going to do two of each and then we'll go here. Is the difference between the two. I'm gonna go ahead, finish, and I'll be back. Three, two, one. We're tanned. I'm gonna get into bed, put a retainer, 
retainer in and I hope you guys enjoyed the video glowing up with me there's more that I wanted to do but cleaning kind of took over but I just wanted to say I love you guys I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and supporting me as always and I'll see you in my next video good night